Okay. So, again, welcome everybody to this round of 6 4 match between Bart and Yumiu, also known as Armada. Slight delay, as usual. <laughs> and I think we're ready to go now. So, I didn't actually catch So, the Bart decided to go for Dutch. <laughs> I like it. Bait your Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if he desires to do it, so. It seems like he prepared very well. <laughs> yep. So the map is Kamchatka, of course. The first map for every uh, is it round of 64 match. Yeah, it is. So, were you expecting Dutch from Bart? <laughs> well, to be honest, somewhat. Yeah, he when I, I I played him in the group stage and I had specifically prepared for each Dutch. <laughs> I think he's been playing them quite a bit since the the ESO patch. So yeah, I think yeah. Anyways, uh, would start for the French player, which will allow him to get trading post. In fact, he will do so. And also, would start for Dutch, of course, when he will allow him to get a trading post. Most likely, he will probably just save the wood for a bank. Yeah, that's that's the most standard way to uh, to do it. Yeah. It's not really the, the thing to go for an early TP. But maybe he has something special and prepare for us. I don't think so though. I've seen Maito do it, I think, or someone else, was it? Yeah, I tried it a while ago and, and it seemed pretty strong, actually. I'm not sure, but this is really a thing people are doing nowadays, so Yeah. Make sure the mute is not isn't isn't that great for Dutch, like you you don't get the TP or something, you don't profit as much from it as other sis. Yeah, it's true. I mean, you can cannot really do anything in H1. He does have 10 in population, he's not dropping a house yet. He can drop a house, but I don't see him do it. Maybe I forgot. <laughs> Anyways, Yumiyo did get Yumiyo did get a trade post, so that means he only scattered the wood for a house, so he's not gonna go for a market. And yeah, and Bart's going for this wood treasure here. Yeah, I see it. With his right sure Yumi you has scouted it yet? He is going he is to walk now. Yeah, no, I think he did because he is walking. Explorer is close, but yeah, he will, will be too late. He is walking towards. He might both get a his, uh, kill the explorer though. Nah, it's too high. You can just kill the scout and run away. And Yumi you should probably know that he can do some damage, but he cannot kill it. Yeah, true. Although French explorers also at full HP. So what yeah, do you think? Yeah, so saying? he just runs with the scout and tries to kill him. Yeah, so what do you think? Will we get a Bart flame here? I know he, he dislikes his uh, scout snare mechanic. Yeah, where's the flame? Maybe he's trying to focus for once. <laughs> so, free career is coming in from UBO Fair Standard. I expect free fields from a Dutch player. Yeah. That's just a standard, probably. I don't expect anything else, really. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't have anything else to ship. Maybe explore, but not in this map. Yeah, he doesn't have anything. So judging from the decks, this is just going to be a standard game. I don't see anything crazy like a false revolution or something, which we did see in the round of 128. Yeah, we shall, saw Yamshi do a, a false endurance trail, right? And a Gibson or a Lions Den. Oh, uh, yeah, that, that's standard, to be expected. <laughs> so Bart gets his shipment, but it's 35 seconds later due to the trading post, which is very nice. And Bart might lose his explorer, although he he does have a down center, so he can put some fills in. Yeah, he will lose it, I think. Yeah, but then again, he will get it on once he ages up, and he's already up. Yeah. So it's just a 45 XP for Yum Yu. Yeah. Which is quite decent. Yep. The little things that matter, really. Oh um, yeah, it will allow him to get his third shipment in much quicker. He already has a second shipment, you can see. Okay, actually he will get his first shipment once he ages up, so it's fourth shipment. Here comes the flame. Yeah, that's really nice for <laughs> France. So, he, sa yeah, so he, says, he says so, as in, what's gonna happen? I'm expecting a flame. I'm hoping for it. <laughs> it wouldn't be a part game without the flame. <laughs> Anyways, I'm I'm quite interested to see if, if Bart's gonna go for 700 wood or the bank wagon. I'm really a big fan of 700 wood builds, but... Yeah, but you're very greedy, and, and Bart is not known to be greedy, so I think it's just gonna be a bank wagon. He, he does build a bank with five fills, apparently. <laughs> Which is a bit over the top. Yeah. 
That's quite a lot. <laughs> Alright. So we said Yumi is still chopping wood. He's getting his marker crates right now. Or already got him. Actually, he didn't even get a market, never mind. So what is he what is he spending his wood on? The second trading post. Alright. Oh. So Are no market. No market out of Yumi. And now I now he builds a market. That's interesting. Yeah, that's very interesting. So I'm guessing it's just gonna be some stagecoach. But still. Yeah, probably. Dropping his mark now. I wonder now if he's, he's going to go for Moskos or just Asami. Probably. I think it's just gonna be a, yeah. I think this is too greedy to go. Like a trading post and yeah. a market is. I think that's too greedy for a um, standard play. And he does ship four fish. It looks like uh, Bart is going for the 700 wood because he's not dropping any military buildings. So but he doesn't have anything. Yeah, but that's true. He's building a yeah. bank. But yeah, there it comes. He's gonna ship it now. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. And Yumi Especially if, if Franz gets 2 TP, so... Yumi is just uh, researching hunting dogs now and doesn't have any, any military buildings of his own, though. He does have 2 training quests, of course, and unfortunately Stagecoach does not appear in the UI, so we cannot see if he's researching that. I guess we can look at the resource a bit, but it's hard to keep track of. No, I think he's researching it, he just dropped 2 on wood. Uh, that might have been it, yeah. So Bart dropping a stable and 2 houses and a third bank, so he's gonna have a good economy. Yeah. That's that's the 700 wood build. I like it quite a lot. It's it's really greedy, but <laughs> as you can see, Yumiu is playing greedy as well. So yeah, that's true. It, yeah, he didn't scout the two trading posts. You you can expect um, you can you expect can see him to do this anyways. It's yeah, but so. I think when he builds it, it's too late. You can't really adapt your build anymore because you are all, you've already sent it. You know you're up faster than France. Yeah, true. So France true. also dropping a stable. I think I think you can do 700 wood versus France regardless of if he goes for two trading posts or not. Yeah, this stable seems to be a bit too early though. Oh, actually not. He has to re he has population space for it. I was gonna say he needs to wait until 700 wood arrives, but he does have eight population space available. And Bart looks like he's also going to get a TV, anticipating the stage coach. Yeah, that's a smart move. So it's Yumio just gonna yeah he is just gonna go for straight a fifth. I was expecting some more SAR, but I guess not. This is gonna be a, a kind of stagecoach effect, I guess. Which works, I guess. It's, I mean, quite it's, nice, it's I not think, bad, yeah. Bart, Bart delays his hussars to get more banks. Well, so normally, if you do a straight FF, you can, can like be damaged a lot by hussar raids. But be, because Bart's hussars are only out just now, he can't really do as much damage, I think. Might get a fill or two. But maybe not even. Yeah. Well, it's good. And, wait, is this supposed to happen, you think? <laughs> All these lakes? I, oh, I don't know. I, I guess so. I guess it is, since this is a new version of the map, but I've never seen it. But anyways, yeah, it's a pretty good build. I mean, well, now that you said it, he still doesn't have any stagecoach, so I'm not sure what's going on. He is aging up now, and he has some pretty good market upgrades. So, when he ages, he will have two shipments ready. Uh, I wonder if he's, he's going to go for an aggressive style or maybe go down well, a thousand wood first. I think you have to against Dutch. I mean, they have three, three banks, could easily drop a fourth. And Yumi does now have this yeah. great code, so he's not going to lose any fills. He should though, at least. It's unlikely. Yeah. So, Bart is Bart's not, only is going for three banks so far. Yeah, and he's getting the resource to age now. Also, has his market upgrades, and there's a bank wagon. So yeah, he has, he has almost steel traps now. Bart coming in again, but he's not gonna achieve much, except idle. I mean, it's a good thing. He's not gonna kill him. No, there are there are two. Already. Yeah, there are two who are two? 10 HP. So five yes, dragoons coming in. So five dragoons coming in, and I think he made one. Two. Yeah, he two. made two, I think. Yeah. Yeah, two. Yumiu is looking to put on some pressure, it seems. Yeah. Which could be tough, because Bart only just clicked up, I think. And he doesn't have a barracks either, does he? He does not. So He should have, like... No, I'm, he doesn't. I want to talk about this build, because I think it's a very strange build. If you're going for this two trading post thing while aging, you should get stagecoach, I think. It's just too greedy if you don't. I mean, you need something yeah, to pay true. it off. And two, two, two TPs with XP is nice, of course, but... I mean, I would prefer a stagecoach if you're going for this. So he's gonna send the yeah, seven true. goons back to deal with one Asar, and I would rather have him like standing on this call in mine. He knows it's exposed, he scouted it. Uh, Yumiu is actually going for a two Falk push. 
That's a really scary timing, I think. Yeah. Because Bart doesn't have anything out. Like, he, he literally has one Hussar. <laughs> and he has five Rider in queue, and I guess Rider Shaw's on the way. I didn't see if he had a shipment, but I suppose he does. Yeah, he does. So Dimio is going to ship now to see what units are out, and he will see if there are no units out, which he will be very happy about. Yeah, and this, this, signal go, this signal's go time. He's going to go now. He has seven goons, three more on the way. And Yumio is losing a finisher to this lone Sar. Loses one veil. Mm. Nice. <laughs> he might even lose two. It's no, he knows. Really well, you he know might lose two, actually. Oh, and eight skirms come out. That's kind of defend this. But I think he loses two. Oh, and Bar shipped 1000 boots, so he won't oh. have much units for a while. <laughs> but that's kind of that's very, shitty for him. Yeah, that's very bad. And he's, he's going to lose his bank, which is very bad. Well, he can lose a bank or two. He Can he? Like, he went for a really greedy build, so he has a spare eco. And he also shipped one game with, I suppose. Yeah, it's possible. It doesn't mean it's over, but if yeah, he loses two banks, it will become tough. Dropping on our Rex is stable, going though. For an, yeah. yeah. It's going for a mass rider, it seems, but there are scurps on the field now, and I guess Barrack Souls. Yeah, Barrack Souls are being dropped right here. So, this mass rider thing is probably too late. Special. Yeah, it's gonna be really tough now to hold this off. Yeah, and he is for certain gonna lose a second bank. He might ship mercs, although he only has 12 supplies, which are not really good merc. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna... That, that's gonna save him. <laughs> it's really the thugs, he has to find an answer for those. Yeah. But right now it doesn't but seem like now he has he any. Seven skirms on the way. Four Magoons, and he also lost two banks, so he is definitely behind now. You can see it in the middle of the population. But if you, if you he, look at the economic population, he's still like even. Yeah, but he's gonna, he is gonna run out of resource soon. Like, this is this is basically his only call in mind because there are the Goons standing on this one. And after that, Yumio has the whole map, and he also has triple the military population. Oh, actually, he does not now, and I arrived. Sick, uh, double the military unit population. He's just gonna see his bank. This is really a shitty position for Yeah, him. so he has to go for this, and Yumio knows this. I mean, he can send one goon in or something and see if the mine's gone. Uh, he is gonna go for this board, apparently, and I don't think it's gonna work with these seven more scurves arriving. Well, he doesn't have much cho choice, does he? Well... But, like, Yumio has such a nice skirm as that he can... Yeah, but he's just losing so many about right now. He's trying to do this, I mean, I guess. I guess he did he kill, the kill the Falconets, though. Yeah, but he lost 20 Riders for so it. So he can play from here. And sure, Riders are very cheap. Yeah. I mean, they're not worth much, but you can't, you still, I don't think that was a good trade. It wasn't. He can't deal with the, with the Skirmels from you, you know. No, and also the good mess, to be honest. But this this good mess alone can no. kill this Rider mess. And with 20 Skirmels back, yeah, it's exactly. going to be very hard. Especially because he just doesn't have any resource. Like, he's gearing here, and Yumio knows it. Yeah, exactly. Well, maybe he doesn't know it, especially. Um, yeah, maybe he doesn't know it. But he knows he's gearing somewhere. I don't, I don't think he, he thinks yeah, there are like 10 or 20 uh, fields in this town center. Town center doesn't even do 90 damage, so I have to wonder. Oh, yeah. Deals. Yeah, and he also ship. He's gonna look for them now. He also ships one K wood now, so I expect stagecoach or town center or something coming out. Although his explorer is dead, so he cannot build town center. Yeah, true. He just needs to get a little bit more units and push Bart off his natural resources. Yeah. And then solve it over. Bart does have one K coin for some reason. I guess he just doesn't have any food, so I expect. Well, no. should we expect the Swiss pipe? <laughs> I don't think so. Well. Oh, and he's gonna find well, I don't think it's gonna save him. Yeah, this is game. That's probably just gonna put the nail on the coffin oh, for you. Did here. he scout the mine? Did he see the ideas now? He's all the fills in the mine now, and he could probably just taste that. Well, I don't and know. And the alone are enough to deal with Bart's army, so. Yeah, and they will. You can just lock him down and raid with his goons. <laughs> and the is just gonna drop it down center here. Secure his position. That is probably gonna be it. Bart is trying to hold on with his 8th skirm shipping, but it's not going to be enough against these massive skirms. Also losing more fills here. And of course, he knows there are fills here now. Which he's, yeah, which yeah. he's probably just going to go to. That's probably going to kill the, the GG from Bart. Yeah, this is like what? 
a 10 fills, 12 fills. So that's basically half a sales right here. Yeah. And while, meanwhile, Yumi is just gathering everywhere. And he has full map control, he can just gather where he wants. You can also yeah. see him yeah, gathering I don't, here. I don't see how Bart's gonna win it. You can see him gathering here. Ex ex uh, ex how do you say it? I don't know. Instead of here. Because he knows he has the map. And if he gets pushed back somehow later in the game. Then he can abandon this mine. Just mine in his home. Because he knows there's still my um, yeah, coin there. So he's... Did he give up on the skills? I guess he just wants to take the army. And his explorer is... Where's his explorer? Oh, so, oh he died I think. He just, he just bought it again. He just bought it back, yeah. Yeah, and all of the seals are gonna die. Really and Bart's, Bart's, just, yeah, and Bart's army of six girls and seven riders is not gonna work. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to hold on. I mean, he's still getting some army out, four riders. Still, it seems very hard to do. Yeah, he's gonna lose his entire <laughs> army now. Yeah, it's gonna put him on melee, but it's not gonna matter. It's not like riders have the best melee attack anyway, they have eight attack, and that's not even with a multiplier. So it takes like 20 hits He's to kill Skurr. still losing Skirt. his here to 4 goons, so... Yeah. Also shipping uh, ranged infantry attack right now. Which increases his uh, attack, of course. So yeah, sure. and the town center is finishing up. I'm not He's sure what Yumi is doing. Here. Oh, and he did ship uh, his 12 6 pikemen. Gonna go for some miracle oh. raid, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I guess if something could win him the game here, maybe it's with Spike, but... Oh, my... Uh, I don't so I don't know how. Well, Murks might actually do it, because he has a lot of coin. I mean, you can see he doesn't really have any food. Well, Yumi's army was standing on top of this, so he didn't have any food. And now the Murks yeah, do get scouted go. by these uh, adventurous uh, skirms. Which do die pretty quickly. Just like raping some skirms, yeah. And uh, Yumi is shipping Wilderness Warfare, which agrees to his Coureur and uh, Skirm HP. It's an okay card, I suppose. It's Skirm, uh, yeah, Yumi knows it, it's over. Yeah, they have 280 HP now, though, so he's probably not gonna lose anything. Well, he might just lose one or two. <laughs> well, if he can somehow get the Swiss bike in, in the Dragoon, so it might work. <laughs> There's nah. But you know, Yumi is not gonna let this happen. So yeah, he calls GG and he resigns. Yeah, I think the problem there was like, Yumiu got away with the with the straight FF <laughs> because Bart's Bart's hussars were so late. Well, imagine if Bart you go for the 700 wood build, you have to have to identify that your opponent is going to straight FF yeah, and, and and just do the same. Yeah, but imagine if Bart dropped a stable and two houses from his age wood and he made five hussar. I think that could have done some yeah. significant damage. I mean, they, they, then, then it, the 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 straight FF can't work for France. But... Well, he might have just forced the minimum call and delayed the stable. If he had five more, sorry, he might have done more. Still. Yeah, but like if you start out with 700 wood build, that that's not really something you want to do. So, I think the best thing to do is then to just straight FF as well. Yeah, I think his first shipment, 1k wood, is just very greedy. Because yeah, it was. Rider. Especially because Yumiu went like four military st shipments straight, so <laughs> it wasn't quite so, the timing. To that concludes the first game. Wood. So Bart's up one. Uh, sorry, Yumiu is up one nil now. In this best of three, of course. So he needs two games to win. But I'm not counting Bart out just yet. I mean. No, I hope he wins. I have a lot of money on Bart. Yeah, same. So. 500 points. Well, I have 500 points on Yumiu winning 2-1. Yeah, I have a lot of points on Yumiu winning 2-1. Like, <laughs> I think a lot of people underestimate Bart. He didn't play that well there, but... Yeah. He, he didn't show his full <laughs> potential, I think. And Bart is, Bart's an underrated player. He can play really good, really well. So uh, I saw the odds for 2-1 Yumiu and I thought that's that's pretty value. Let's just hope. Yeah. But uh, if he plays again, like he played just now, he might just uh, get get wrapped. Just get raped. <laughs> also with, uh, with the new Sith picking rules, like Yumiu has to pick a Sith and can change it, so... Maybe Bart's just gonna counter him. Yeah, it's true, but 
it's also uh, it is his best Sif in the I think. Like I think we can, we can call it the best Sif. So if he just picks any other map, I think it should be fine. Yeah, depending on the match, yeah. of course. I'm gonna see what Junior is gonna go for. Oh, I you know, he's sinking. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping for the 2 1 for, for Yu Mew. I'm trusting in Bart. <laughs> yeah, I think he can do it. But but the third game is gonna be hard. Because he will have to have to choose shift first, so he will get counter shift. And Yumiu is the better player. Well, I mean. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. What uh, what would you choose? I'll just go Germans and make war wagons. And just yeah, win. Yeah, <laughs> Especially in a big map like this, you could pretty much do that. Yeah, I think so. He can't change anymore, he has to do auto. Yeah. It's quite an interesting Sif picking role, like... Bart can just counter save him now. Yeah, but to be honest, what? how, Although, how do you counter shift auto? <laughs> I yeah, they're, they're quite well rounded, so... I guess it's not Germans, as easy, I guess. Yeah, it's not like you can counter and exploit your timing to kill that Sif, like you could with Ottoman versus Japan or something. Or Essex versus Japan. No. But Ottoman doesn't really have time, which I suffer from. You just need to... First, Ottoman just need to hold the timing. And yeah, I think you can like go Germany or something. Yeah, I'd go Germany. I would like that. I would definitely go Germany. But I don't think Bart's the greatest Germany player. Yeah, that's true. Well, he, he does play Germans every now and then. I have played him against Germans. Yeah, but I don't think he's as good at it as no. with other ships. He told me he doesn't India. feel as comfortable as Germany. <laughs> yeah, and he's going for his main ship here of uh, India. Yep. It should be a very nice match. I mean, it's basically these guys two best sifts. Yeah. I don't quite know how this matchup will play out. <laughs> well, I think Yumio just ages up and makes Jern Avis, and Bart just ages up and makes Gurka. Well, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. but Yumio could also go for like the FF. Try to pressure him with no. force. Yomio knows his matchup very well, I know that, because he basically explained to me how Indians cannot win it. Basically what he does is oh. he just goes for a Gen A, which just makes 10 a Gen Gens, 15 A, which just, that's just 8 uh, Zar. And then India cannot hold the timing. According to so him, I mean... So quite comfortable yeah, in this Yeah, according to him, he cannot, uh, India cannot win the timing. But we will see, I mean... <laughs> well, Ottoman did get nerfed with the uh, Abbas Radio Fire, of course. Yeah, true. So, spawning in the east of the map, we have Bart spawning with one coin crate, so it's not a full wood start. And in the west of the no, map, we have uh, Ottoman also spawning with coin crate, of course. And he's gonna go for trading post, I suppose, this one. And is that actually the first yeah. pass? I have no idea. I think this is the first pass. Because he, I don't think he can build a trading post and then have a pass. I don't know, it looks do like think? it's possible. I'm not sure. Though. Well, yeah, I think it is actually. The the danger is that if India, well, he's playing India, so he's probably not going to do that. But if if India went for a training post and just walked straight in this line, then he's probably uh, uh, there earlier. He, yeah, but with a 100 coin start, India surely isn't going to go. Well, he could have. He could have so. also. It's a very nice trick. He could have also dropped the training post foundation, just build it for like one and a half second, then ran away, so just 300 HP or something. So yeah, Ottoman can all build to get the first pass. So he, he'd either have to siege it and build it, or have to walk all the way up here to build it. Yeah, but like. Oh, and Bart is going. Yeah, Bart is going to scout this. He sees the. He's going for the treasure. Actually, Yubi is just going to give up. Just going to shoot his oven. So Bart got 60 wood, 60 food, and 30 coin in total already, so it's a very good start for India. Oh, that's quite decent. Yeah. This uh, this treasure is pretty easy to get as India, I think. Yeah, it Houston is. Houston and both. And this is quite good. But he's gonna try to steal this one. 
He's oh, not. No, he's, he's not going to succeed. I mean, it, yeah, Yumi will see it. He's just, just going to attack. Oh, I would have attack explorer. And Yumio does get oh, it. Yeah, Yumio, Yumio got it, but Bart should stun him. Yeah, you should try to attack the the ultimate explorer. You you have like a ten percent chance to get a stun. That interrupts the 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 picking up of the treasure, so then yeah. you can still steal it. It's a nice trick, but you have to get lucky. So we see Bart is going for this. Well, it's like this um, semi 10 10, I guess you could call it a 12 20. 20. It's going to get a ship and it's going to be a 13 20. It's not the full eco style, but it's pretty economical. Better than 10 10. So he's planning to rush um, Yumiu. No, he's not, Probably. but it's it's like he wants to get up. He's just going to go for a quicker egg grab for it. Yeah, yeah, he just wants to get up the fortress faster than you normally would against Portuguese or something. Because you know, well, not Portuguese. But, anyways, uh, he would just wants to get faster than the standard build. Because he knows he's probably going to get some pressure in the early colonial. Yeah, so and basically he skips like one villager. Yeah, and Bardas also going for it. Well, more like two villagers or something. But it's still like 20, 30 seconds faster. It should hurt though, he's not hurting. He's going to build this Agrofort right now, but the turret is kind of running away. On the Agrofort is, is quite late. And he's bored. 60 extra food. So do you think? No, he isn't. <laughs> Jimmy just was approaching a treasure and Bart was just standing next to it, but he didn't take it. So, what were the treasures for both players? Bart got 120 XP, and the previous treasures, and some 30 coin. Yumi just got 75 coin, 70 XP, 30 coin, smaller treasures. There was no big treasure. Yeah, Bart got, got great treasures, I think. Yeah, but there wasn't any big treasures, like the 150 coin or the 85 wood. Is he gonna see the fills coming out? I think he could have seen it. Yeah, he, yeah does. he sees it. He's just gonna so he knows Yumiu is planning to build a forward base somewhere yep. around. And he's also gonna build train boats. So this is probably just gonna be a Gen Avis build. Build train boats. Yep. Yeah. And he's gonna be up now. With the 400 wood, I suppose. Yeah, he is. That's just quite standard. Yeah. He didn't go for any of the new Silk Road stuff. Nah, but he I think, I think it's kind of bad. Yeah. Because yeah, I don't like it as much either. So he does have some interesting water cards in his deck. I mean, he has the free galleys and uh, the fish market, apparently, which could be okay. I mean, Bart, I guess he doesn't have a water deck. No, he does not. He never has a water deck. He does no, have. He, he has a four Mahout range, an H four. For some reason. Bart's hurting is really lacking, though. Like, yeah, I mentioned it as well. Just, it's. He, he could fix it in the upcoming minute or so, but well, it isn't the greatest. Of course, the pronghorn do. Run away faster. So yeah, true. Yumiu got a stagecoach upgrade and then research and build a barracks, I think. Yeah, he did. And now, with the 700 wood coming in, he's just gonna build a, not a trade post in an Epis, um, Epis foundry, a turning foundry, and just make more <laughs> houses. Well, it's kind, yeah. of, kind of an Epis foundry. I mean, he's like, he's not gonna train with Falconets. Yeah, he's just gonna make a Epis out of them. Yeah. He does have five I'm not even sure if he's gonna throw down the, the third trading post. I think he should, or he's gonna get a stable. Could also be it. He has to drop this artillery foundry, and he has six gems yeah. Q. He just dropped the artillery, yeah. Yeah. So I wonder, yeah, he is. He's just gonna catch these um, elephants, and Bart should pull them away. I think it's too late. Is this one gonna die? He has its snare. And he ships Zephyr with going, it's of course for the Abyss uh, production. Also yeah, just to the fuel the unit. Yeah. Which is quite standard, I think. And here comes the stagecoach. Here, com here comes stagecoach. But Yumi, you're not going for a fur training post, which I think he should. I mean, maybe he's going to get it now with his new wood. Maybe, yeah, he's going to wait for like 600 wood. But he built two houses and artillery foundries. So what, what did he do? Oh, with he's, the he's choosing to throw, no throw down a market instead. Yeah, I do not like that. I think a trading post is much more beneficial. It's like four or five hills at this point, somewhere around that. In the market, yeah, well, you sure. Have, yeah. yeah, I agree. Yeah. So, Bart just has Sepoy now, five Sepoy. And he's just going for the economic game, just hoping he doesn't die. Yumi is shipping 600 coin, of course, his shipment much faster because of the trading post. And he's just going to use that to fuel the Evis and Jam production. Yeah, it seems like he's gonna push out with only five Ebos and 
eight Janissaries. Well, he can because Bard just has like six Seppo. Bard like makes six Seppo, yeah. Yeah, he made so... four and got two from the age of. He's yeah. just hoping. I think he's just hoping you be using everything. He didn't scout. Well, he did scout the Rex actually. Yeah, he, so he does know that. Yumiyo is going to take a trading bus now. And he is Probably. also making more. He, can he push into this aggro for you feel? No, no, I don't think so. That's that's very risky oh. with the with the auto consulate Minutemen. Yeah. I Gen wouldn't. Well, Jens do have a high siege, like the high siege for a musketeer unit in H2. 25 siege. But still... Yeah, but like... It... Yeah. It's only a barracks, really, so... Sieging it isn't that valuable. Yeah, bar ship is 300 expert, of course. Yeah, what you were mentioned, three Ottoman concert, and also six six on route coming in for Yumiu, which I guess is going to be used for market upgrades, houses, and maybe a stable. Houses, and maybe I, a church. I would we'll see. Oh no, I would expect a stable for in houses. Yeah. His yeah, trading posts so. are on coin, I think. We we'll see. They're on, sure. they're on a boot, and uh, he built an he is building a stable now. So I guess his next shipment is going to be three Azor, and then he's going to push out. Which will be a very scary timing. I mean, he has like 15 gents, 10 Avis, and 8 um, Hussar. And if you look at Bard's army, even with this current army, Bard cannot fight it. So he has our line as Eggerfort being useful, and just hope uh, he gets a good Minuteman pop. Hope with, with the Minuteman from the town center and the yeah. auto consulate, that's like 10 units now. Yeah, or, units, and so. maybe even the Tiger Claws. I mean, he does have a shipment available, and he does ship it now, so I don't think it's going to be Tiger Claws. Maybe Soars? I, I, I think I would go for the Soar. So Yumi you tried Scout and he scouts this army, so I, I think he's pretty happy right now because he sees the army. Gonna wall this off apparently, but he sees the army and he knows he can push now. Here he, he gets three more gens, four more Edis, and he's just gonna push. Yeah, no uh, no hussars on the way yet, but Yeah. He he doesn't have a resource for it. He can build one now, but yeah he does. He cures one on Soar yeah. now. And I would personally wait for the for the and Hussars, four sours for Yumio coming in. I think they're on the way, aren't they? There's a shipment on the way, so I guess it's going to be either free Azara or Evas deck, Evas hit points, something like that. Who when Yumio does cash his Gurka, split some nicely. Yeah, but with the change rate of fire, it doesn't even do that much. That well, it doesn't matter much. One. You can just kite. And here, the free Azaras do come yeah, in, and true. he has free Azara in Q. Yeah, but he can just... It's going to be really tough for Bard now, he, he needs a good Minuteman pop, yeah, I think. Yeah, but the Abyss gun, Abyss gun nerf is kinda insignificant at this point, because he's just gonna kite them and run away. And, as I mentioned, Jens, Jens Harris do have very high siege, so it's Abyss, this artillery of uh, Agro Fort... Do you think he's gonna down. try to defend the fort? It seems so. Well, I wouldn't. There, yeah, he yeah, is, he is gonna. Minuteman. But, or the other Minuteman in time. No. And, he, he, well, he walks away, so he can still pop it. Still with five oh, he's, he's getting a, an army from the consulate, so he can do Minutemen. Yeah, he is getting seven uh, Zara right now, and it's just hard to deal with for part. Yeah, here come the Ottoman Zara, apparently. From which side? I have no idea. But yeah, this is... Well, it's, quite, it's going quite well for you. It's Yumi, okay think, micro think. for Yumi. Yeah, I was gonna say his micro is pretty bad, but... It was he's okay. just gonna finish the aggro fort. Yeah, and then go back, apparently. I would just go for the fills, I mean... Oh, the fields are not exposed actually, so you cannot. So I would just go for the army. He knows he has to lead. And I guess India's eco is better than uh, Yumi's eco. I mean, you can see it here, even with yeah, trading. Yeah, he's like 13 fields ahead, so. Yeah, the, the trading post. Yumi has to make uh, something happen. I don't think the trading post quite make up for it. No, and uh, into the interjector skull later also doesn't mention the trading post. No, it doesn't show them, so. But it's like two villagers or so, I think. Trading post? Like four or five at least. Four it's five. like 120 resources per what? Six seconds? Yeah, I don't know quite how much it's worth. Per so then it's, it's, it's Yumiyo's ego is quite decent actually. Yeah. So Bart was focusing on the Eviscon, so he gave up apparently. It's gonna be really hard to deal with this mass, and Yumi yeah. is mostly adding Hussars now. Especially with but the. With doesn't have much anti cav so. Especially with the artillery problem. attack coming in. He's just gonna buff with AFs and we can see even more. Look how much damage they do. Yeah. And Bart just doesn't have the armor. And the Minutemen are gone, so he, he can't surprise Yumi anymore. Well, it still is the Ottoman Minutemen, and it's still not gonna be enough, I think. He, he doesn't even have the export for Oh, oh he has Tiger Glass, oh, yeah. <laughs> it might actually work. 
Well, he's, he's gotta go for the... Uh, really for the, nice, uh, nice build. He's gotta go for the Abyss Guns or the Dark Ones, but I would've preferred him to just stay on the Gen Series. I mean, they still do damage. They still yeah, do true. bonus damage as well. Well, actually, we don't do bonus damage. It looks like Yumiu is still gonna come out on top, though. Yeah. All and now, army and now all of these fields are just exposed. Yeah, there's just no way and he it, can it, stop these abos. Yeah, this is hard to deal with. He does have a shipment now, but I don't think there's anything he can ship. Yeah, it's not Tiger Claws. <laughs> no, Tiger, he just... Yeah, he doesn't have anything. No, he can ship 5 Maybe 5 set point, but... Like... What's that gonna do against Abbas guns? Yeah. But Yumiu is gonna get out, you know there's a possibility. He is five gonna find these fields out. though. Yeah, he does. That's gonna be bad. And five more gens coming in, so he's safe against any sour pop right now. So Bart's trying to He doesn't set. even lose that many fills, I expected it to be more. Yeah, but he's still gonna lose this one. And I mean it's like 31 versus 25 now, so he's catching up. He should be the church right yeah, now. Yeah, I think with, with, uh, yeah. with the trading post, Yumiu is even ahead in Eco now. And he also got the church upgrade. The first one with the mirrored system one, which traded faster, and this one which allows him to uh, train 45 fills. Yeah, Yumiu is in a really comfortable position here. Just trying to play it safe, not overcommit. Yeah. He should know the, the, the mine has run out. <laughs> if Tunan Koi no plays for mines. Apparently that's Azimp. I have heard stories of him getting ganks all in at 30 minutes in OBS games of Great Plains on the Nilla days. I think I yeah. watched one. He's gonna push in the town. <laughs> That, yeah, I would say it's risky, but all the Minutemen are gone. Yeah, well, oh, there are some Minutemen. Minutemen <laughs> still are there. There are still but some Minutemen, apparently. Well, you can, you can still just take this. Like, look at his army, it's so much smaller. Yeah. And again, you can just slide this with full Gen Series. Also, four more Sora coming in. He ain't did ship Schooner, so if his food runs out, he already to duck up. Yeah, he's already started the water boom. Yeah. I would expect so, a GG somewhere around Ah, uh, shit, I just wasted 500 points. Yeah, all my points are... Wait, are not all your points? Yeah, it's all my points, 500, it's all I have. Oh, okay. You suck at betting. I lost yeah. like 200 or so. <laughs> you mean lost. But the odds were so nice. Yeah, and Yumi is got this. He's just gonna send this one hero Sora up there. And there it goes. He yeah, it. GG. Well played by Yumi. At the start of the tournament, he, he said he didn't think he was in the greatest shape, but. <laughs> but then he picked Audubon. Yeah, but maybe his shape improved. He has been <laughs> playing a lot, so. Yeah. So, congrats to Yumi for passing on to the next round. And unfortunately. Bart is out. Well, at least Wack is still in. Wack, however you say it. Yeah. So the next match.